before I start this video, uh, I just want to say rest in peace to DMX. I didn't mention that in my last video. Um, forgot to mention it. He is someone who I've listened to a lot of his interviews and I've listened to a lot of what he's had to say. And it has been inspiring. But I just want to say rest in peace to a great man. <laughs> Now, on off that somber note, I do have a video that I've been meaning to make for a very long time, but I just have never gotten around to it because I thought, you know what, would I really like to make this video? But then I found a way of making it funny. So I'm going to introduce the video and I'm going to do what I found funny in order for you to understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. So the video today is going to be on those people who, you know, you see them all the time, you see them chat on the internet. They always believe there's there's some hidden meaning behind shit. We're talking about conspiracy theorists today. And the reason why I'm in a good mood is because I finally get to do this. In light of me making a video about these men, I... You what? I'm going to wear a tinfoil hat. Yeah, I couldn't get the point properly, but you know what? You kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. So... <laughs> so... So the first conspiracy theory I want to talk about is basically, um, you see those people who, when COVID first started, so given the people that um, were on this whole thing of, oh, you know, 5G starting this or it's population control, I really just have to ask you, what did the government gain from controlling our population? They kind of already do in a sense, like they kind of tell us what to do. They kind of tell us what to think to an extent about certain topics and issues, just in order to, th to further extend their own agenda. So to me, it's just the thing of, why are you so worried about specific things, like a virus, for example? I'll tell you, that, I'll tell you something, yeah? Um, and I'm going to give you this advice for anyone. When it comes to the government over-reporting something as much as they've done this virus, look for all the other news around. Because it wasn't until I started realising, you know what? This COVID thing is kind of getting spoken about way too much. I just kind of realized, I was like, you know what? Let me start looking at other news. And that's when I realized we were getting a shitty Brexit deal. Um, the country wasn't doing as well financially. But this all got picked up after. This all got picked up after the fact. But during the first wave of this, that's when I started looking into other things. And that's when I realized, bro, we're getting a really shitty Brexit deal here. And... Um, the next theory, which is one of my personal favorites, and I can't lie, at one point, I did actually believe this was actually true. Because I was like, yo, how are some of these men getting this? And there's no, like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no type of repercussion or anything like that. So the next thing I want to talk about is um, people who believe that Satan runs the music industry. You what? That like, Satan runs the music industry. And I'm just like, bro, I'm not going to lie, but... I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the devil has better things to do. If I'm completely honest, like, I don't think he's really worried about little Nas X and all these men. Like, I feel like when it comes to these men, like holding up, you know, doing this shit or little Nas X making videos with um, with like satanic messages in it. I personally just feel like this is just a clout thing. It's like rappers who target their dead ops and chat about them and i'm just there like okay but really you're just doing this for clout because speaking about the dead is like taboo although i will make a video about stuff that is um that people say just because it's taboo but no one grills them about it like i'll i'll, I'll preview at the end of the video what i'm talking about but um with um with that, I don't think the devil runs the music industry. I think these um these artists are just doing it for clout. They're doing it because it's like, oh yo, you shouldn't be trying to promote Satanism. That's that's wrong. That's that's mad. That's that's wild. It's just an attention thing, man. These men are probably not Satanists. These men are probably uh devout to whatever religion they're they're devout to, or you know, they probably have a spiritualistic belief, but I'm sure it doesn't include like, you know, I'm pushing Satanism. I'm sure that's not the message they're trying to portray. Um, I will say though, there is a theory that goes hand in hand with this one and I'm going to discuss it now. 
kind of giving it the perfect introduction. The Illuminati do not run the music industry as much as people want to believe that they do. While there are some higher ups there, the Illuminati do not run it. Like people who are like, yeah, you know, the Masons, the Illuminati, the Satanists. People don't even, you know what? Yeah, if you want to learn about Freemasonry, Google the story of Hiram Abiff. And if you don't know who it is, he is the guy who constructed King Solomon's temple and perfected the art of stone cutting, which is why they're called stone cutter masons. So look into that before you think they're Satanists, but there's a lot of misconceptions with the Freemasons and the Illuminati just because they're quote unquote secret societies that somehow everyone knows about. Like I've said it before and I'll say it again. Their name is probably not even the Illuminati if they're actually running a secret organization. That's probably just the name they want you to believe. If I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch. Good thing I got this song so I can spew all this conspiracy shit because it looks like I got a dickhead. Hang on. <laughs> oh shit, this is fun. I can't lie. I like this. I'm going to start trying to be more creative with like my videos if I'm talking about some shit. But, um,. But yeah, I just feel like when it comes to um, when it comes to this whole thing of the Illuminati run the music industry and all this other shit, I just feel like it's people who haven't got the talent to make it that are just like, you know what? Let me kind of just spread this misinformation. Like, yo, these people are are selling their souls to the devil because I can't be bothered to put in the work for it. Like, okay, cool. I understand why you'd think some artists, I don't know, are not worthy of. Um, are not worthy of that kind of praise like certain snitches in the industry we ain't gonna say their names because i'm not gonna lie to you as much as i need this channel to grow i'm not about to ride the clout off of a rap so yeah i'm not about to do that but people like him are the perfect example of people who just want to court controversy for controversy's sake little nas x is another one he just says controversial shit or does controversial shit for the sake of being controversial but does he actually hold these beliefs? I don't know. I don't know the man. Whatever the man believes is his business. If he wants to worship Satan and whatever, like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. He can do what he wants. Like, people want me to react to that music video. And I'm just like, listen, I'm not trying to hold a copyright claim from... You're not about to finish that sentence. I ain't, I ain't about to hold a copyright claim from that nigga. Fuck that. For a lot of reasons. But, yeah. Um, the next theory I want to discuss is... Uh, there's so many good ones out there um one i want to discuss that i found very interesting back in the day although it's complete horse shit i ain't gonna lie is the whole reptilian thing like oh you know the queen obama they're all reptiles and trump is the one who's who's gonna come through and save us oh what a load of horseshit! trump looks like an orange salamander so let's just stop with that bruv like, he was never going to be the nigga to, to be dropping some truth on anyone, bro. Um, I feel like, personally, like I said before, people just want to make up rumors about shit that they cannot obtain. Um, Obama and the Queen are, are reptilians, bro. Y'all niggas are gay. And the man who's pushing this theory is the guy who went on TV and said he's the descendant of Jesus Christ. If you don't know who that is, it's David Icke. And... I don't know about you niggas, but any man who's trying to say they're the descendant of Jesus Christ, bro, and is trying to spew a theory about reptile people, I don't know what one for you, bro, because that shit is not adding up. Do you claim to be the son of God? Because Terry Wogan said to you on the Wogan show, you claim to be the son of God, and you said yes. Well, I'm, I am, yes, I'm saying that. What I'm saying is we're all the children of God, and... That's not untrue. They're not reptilians, bro. And, and you know what's scary, fam? Like, they've done a survey in America and about 43% of them believe... No, sorry, 4% of them believe that world leaders are reptilians. And based on America's population, 4% is a lot of fucking people. I'm sure there's a lot of people in, in, in Britain who believe in the whole reptilian thing as well, but I'll put up the statistics on that as well. I just want to say, yeah... While, like I, I used to be really big into conspiracy theories Like ask anyone who was mad close to me There was always like I was always like yo you know what you can't trust the government Doing this and that As I've gotten older I've kind of realised While conspiracy theories are fun They can also be very dangerous for the sense of They can really I'm taking this off now I've retained enough heat like, They can really um, 
distort your way of thinking and jumping down the rabbit hole is nice but if you go too far down you're gonna see some shit that you will not like that's all i can say so oh my god i feel god, terrible i feel terrible, terrible. I feel terrible I feel that i'm living in your red room free just kind of learn to separate yourself from those theories and um just know listen they're fun to research cool that's perfectly fine but understand they are just theories there's no fact behind them although i will say there are some theories that i do want to talk about in this video that i believe could be factual uh to be fair it's only really two i think 9 11 was definitely an inside job and i do think that um jfk the assassination was f it's because really? magic bullet really that's that's what we're going off of so the bullets just out here just zigzagging in man's body bro just doing, just doing all types of madness here bro look at that just all types of madness bro <laughs> is that what's going on like, allow it, man. Like, yeah, cool. These conspiracy theories are fun. Oh, there is one more. There is one more I want to discuss that I just remembered now. The 1% one, for people who don't know who that is, is actually a very fun theory. People be really believe that 1% of the world is going to enslave 99% of it. Swear down. That, that's how it works. Because 99% of the world are going to succumb to the 1% that's trying to rule them fucking really fucking really bro really that's that's what was going on shit out of here bro man moving mad with the ting bro i'm telling you man already fam i'm tired of these one percent theories and there was a I'm, a I'm gonna give you like a oh listen big man jay always gives you a real man story in it bro so i was at the gym in it and i was talking to this one girl this was like time ago bro this was like i want to say this is before lockdown ever happened this is before we even knew what COVID was, isn't it? Like, we, before we even knew what, what, what CV was, what CV19 was. So more time here, like, I'm at the gym, innit? And I thought, you know what? This person come talk to me, innit? They were just talking to you, talking to you, talking to me. They wouldn't leave me alone. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. And I was like, listen, I'm going to bang a workout. Might chat to you later. Really and truly, I had no intention of chatting to them after. But they were just so annoying, they wouldn't leave me alone. And all this person would talk about is, you know, the Hollywood elite. Yeah, yeah. Peter Files. You see Obama? Yeah. Yeah, paedophile. You see, um, I used to read fortunes for Miss Williams' son, basically. She was like, yeah, I used to read his fortune. I got invited by the Queen. And I was just like... <laughs> and then there is another thing to the whole CV19 uh, thing as well that I would do want to chat about. And that was the whole thing of people going around saying, yeah, you know what? My uncle, um, he knows someone who knows someone who's spoken to the army. <laughs> Who knows this guy is basically saying that tanks are going to come. They're going to lock off the M4. They're going to lock off the M25. They're going to lock off the M1. And make sure no one can come in and out. And what they're going to do is they're going to run over anyone who tries to get through. There's going to be fighter jets. Like, they're going to basically be stopping people from trying to get into the country. Or trying to get to work and everything else. Because they want population control. They want us locked down. Do you actually hear how stupid this sounds, bro? First of all, you don't know no one. Your mum beat one Jamaican don and he's spreading his bullshit, bro. So stop the crap, fam. Stop the cap. That like the man on the corner selling books talking about open your third eye, man. It's just like, bro, no, no, no. Stop it, fam. There is no third eye, bro. I got two right here, fam. That's all I need, bro. If you want me to be real with conspiracy theories, listen. With anything in life, I'm going to give you this lesson. Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. And that goes for anything. Believe what you see from a person, not what, not what you hear from them. There's a great quote by DMX when he went on Drink Champs and he said, trust the person to be who they are. If a person is a snake, trust them to be a fucking snake. If a person is if a person's a thief, trust them to be a thief. And if a person is spreading cons conspiracy theories, just trust them to be a fucking retard. Nigga. But yeah, that's the video for today. I found it very fun. I could wait until I had to make this. I thought like my mum laughed at me when I was coming out of the house and I was like, yeah, I'm going to make this video real quick. She was like, what is that shit on your head? Yeah, man, this was a lot of fun to make. And I'm just going to preview the next video just to kind of give you a gist of what I'm talking about. Basically, I feel like a lot of people will drop um, certain, certain words to make you not criticise them. Like, for example, some girls might be like, yeah, you know what? I got with seven guys because I was depressed and... You can't say shit because if you question someone's depression, then you're a cunt. So I just wanted to make a video on that because I feel like a lot of people are full of shit. Those motherfuckers. And I feel like someone is going to have to say this shit. And you know how man is on this channel, bro. I just keep it real from that's all I can really do. 
I can only just speak from the heart. And that's what I'll do until the day I die. Which, based on the fact that I'm making this video, it's probably not going to be very long because I'm expecting the Illuminati to snipe me out. Speaking of which, you don't want to roof your mandem in a bit, yeah? Like, if you don't hear from me. If you don't hear from me, bro, just understand that Project Blue Book is in effect, innit? Hold it down, man. I'm safe.